If you're visiting our channel and you wanna to move to Greenville or you're interested in learning more about the area, this video is going to tell you all the things that I wish I knew before I moved to Greenville several years ago. My name is Will Sawyer. I'm a local real estate expert here in Greenville. And if you're thinking about moving to the area or you're just interested in learning more about our wonderful city, my goal for you and this channel is to be your number one resource for all things when you're thinking about Greenville, South Carolina. First things first, you gotta know what the people are like here. If you think you're gonna fit in or if you think you're gonna mesh well with the area, right? So people here are very nice. Um, take it from me. I'm a southern boy, grew up in a small southern town, and I think everyone here is very kind. So people are gonna hold the door for you, and you better say thank you, or we're gonna get super offended if you don't. I'm gonna say yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, and no sir, and if it makes you feel old, I'm sorry. It's just how I was raised. Something that I wish I knew before moving to Greenville would be the geography. So I've heard a lot of my clients in the past who are relocating from out of town say as we're riding down the road or looking on Google Maps, you know, we'll look at a five, seven, nine hundred thousand dollar house and a mile down the road there's gonna be a mobile home. Well just keep in mind that Greenville has not been, you know, a big metropolis for a hundred years, like areas like Chicago or New York or areas say like Orlando with these massive master plan communities, right? So you will find a very expensive home and a much less expensive home a mile down the road. And that's just how it is down here. Also, uh, you know, Greenville's not this massive city. It's a small city. So the towns around it can feel like small towns. Um, and if you're used to, you know, big metros, big suburbs that feed into these big metros, then that's something that, you know, you might should know before you consider relocating to Greenville. And I think a visit for a weekend would really shed some, shed some light on that. And the last thing about geography, um, you know, if you want to be up in the mountains, then you probably should be looking north of Greenville, like Traveler's Rest, Marietta, uh, Dacusville, Pumpkin Town, Pickens, right? However, if you want to be, you know, in a flatter type area, then maybe south of Greenville would be best for you. If you want to be near water, then southwest of Greenville might be best for you, or northwest, uh, where all the lakes are. So, uh, several things to consider as far as where you want to be, what your daily lifestyle is like when you're considering moving to Greenville. Another thing that you should know before moving to Greenville is it's a very tough rental environment here in our area. You know, I'm helping some folks relocate from Virginia right now and they have had quite the time trying to find a long-term rental, right? And for long-term rentals, just for your information, we average about a dollar to a dollar fifty a square foot. Uh, so if you have a 1,600 square foot house, you're probably gonna pay 1,600 to 18 to 1,900 per month for that house. And I mean, a few reasons for this is one, there's a lot of demand for rentals because a lot of people are relocating here, starting to looking for houses. Two, um, I think an increase in short-term rentals and the profit that uh, landlords can, can, can receive from those um, exceeds what they could receive from a long-term rental. So we've seen a lot of uh, short-term rentals flood the market here in Greenville. And of course, if that's what you have to do for three or four months, many landlords that have short-term rentals do offer uh, monthly discounts uh, to help compensate for an extended stay. However, I'm finding that a lot of people who are relocating to the area, if they don't want to be in an apartment, are having a tough time finding rentals. Another thing that you definitely should know when considering a move to Greenville is that real estate prices in the last few years have certainly gone up, right? A lot 
of the southeast has experienced um, a lot of immigration from the northeast, from out west, right? And as a result, we've seen a significant increase year over year in home prices. Um, and I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. Now, this year we've seen not quite of a drastic increase in home prices, right? So for the last several years, I mean, it's been 15 to 20 percent year over year. This year, nothing like that. However, I do think over the long term, uh, we will see prices continue to trend upward, right? So an investment in Greenville real estate is a very smart investment, in my opinion and it's a great reason to move here. However, you are jumping into a game where prices have significantly increased over the last several years, but the good news for you is that in my opinion, they probably will continue to trend upward over the long term. A lot of my business is relocation business, so I talk to a lot of folks who are moving from out of state or moving from in-state, and the majority of clients you know, in our initial call, I'll always ask, well, hey, what has you on to move to Greenville? And pretty much everybody says weather, right? Uh, so it's probably much better than it is up north um, or in the Pacific Northwest where I hear it rains a lot, right? So um, winters here are gonna be pretty mild, probably average about 50 degrees in the wintertime. And we'll have maybe one to three weeks of um, overnight, lower than freezing temperatures uh, but for the most part it'll be pretty mild during the winter time in the summertime it can get pretty hot and it does get humid so be prepared to sweat um, like today um, it's pretty mild but the last two days have been into the been sunny and in the 90s uh, consistently after 11 a.m it's pretty brutal um, so in the fall time you know we're on the edge of the blue ridge mountains so taking the Blue Ridge Parkway uh, in the fall, looking at all the leaves changing is something to behold. Um, and then during the summer, you need to find some water. Um, and luckily, Greenville has three uh, pretty awesome lakes right around it. So Lake Hartwell, Lake Kiwi, and Lake Joe Cassie, not to mention Lake Robinson and Greer. Certainly a place that you can have a boat or a jet ski or go bass fishing and enjoy your summer and fall. And another consideration, you know, as seasons change, is there's a ton of pollen here in Greenville. Uh, we just kind of got through the pollen season. Um, and fortunately for me, you know, I don't suffer from allergies or I don't have issues with pollen, but I know a lot of people who do. And they can have a tough time uh, with the pollen season here in Greenville. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, and as I just mentioned, um, a lot of our business is helping folks relocate to our area who are moving from in-state or out-of-state. And funny enough, um, a lot of folks relocate to Greenville from less than 200 miles away. We see a lot of relocations from North Carolina and Georgia, specifically Atlanta, Charlotte, Asheville. Um, you know, you go an hour up the mountain and into Asheville and real estate prices and taxes are significantly higher than they are here in Greenville. So, as I just mentioned, uh, on our first call together, I'll always ask you, hey, what has you coming to, coming to Greenville? And the majority of people say, less taxes, better weather, and more personal liberty. If moving to Greenville's on your radar in the next six to 12 months, please give me a call at this number or email me at this email. And I hope to be your realtor of choice when you choose to relocate to our lovely city, Greenville, South Carolina. Have a great day.